What's up, how's everyone doing? I got some really good finds to share with everyone. Thank you for all the likes on my last video. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like and uh, I want everyone to leave a comment. Just you know, say hi, say if you got a good finds recently, anything you want. So uh, these pickups I actually got at a flea market. Now usually I never ever buy anything at a flea market. However, I went to the one by my house this weekend because I want to go sell some jewelry to some of the dealers there. And I was walking through and I stopped. I got this stuff from three different people and got really good deals on them, negotiated with uh, two of the people. And I'll go through and show you guys what I got real quick. So first thing I wanna show real quick is this locket right here. So uh, I got this for $10 instead of 15, which was a great deal. Whenever you guys see these antique Victorian lockets, always pick them up. This one has a monogram of AMS on it. So this will open up and you could put two pictures on the inside. The gold filled is in really good shape, not really good condition for its age. And it's also a larger one. So these lockets, I tend to get to the 40 to $60 range, depending. This one is a large one. so. A large one but uh, it's just a monogram it doesn't have any really kind of design or pattern on it so this one's gonna be about 45 to 50 dollars it will sell for around so that was a good pickup this was also a great pickup I got these two brooches from a from one of the dealers there for four dollars each so I paid eight dollars for both of them uh, this one is pretty it's a white witting in Davis or is it whiting in Davis I think it's Whitting and Davis and Company brooch. It's in a really good condition, just costume, but signed costume stuff sells very well. This one I saw a completed listing for $22 with free shipping. So I paid like $4 for it, so not bad. But the one I really wanted was this one right here. So I saw this one right away, picked it up. And as you can see, it's a cute little rhinestone swan brooch. And what makes this very valuable is that it is made by Trafari. Now I know a lot of people hear Trafari, they think costume jewelry, they don't think a lot of money. You guys could go right now, if you guys pull up on eBay, type in Trafari Swan Brooch, and one of these just sold at bid, completed, sold at auction, and it brought, it had 12 or 13 bids, and it went all the way up to $83 and it had shipping on it too. So almost got $90 with shipping, which is crazy. So really good tip right there. Look out for Trafari. Trafari stuff is very good. People collect it, people love it, and people pay up for it. So $4 to hopefully, if hopefully I could get what the other one got, you know, $80, that would be fantastic. So got that piece, look out for Trafari. So, Next dealer, I got these four pieces right here from, and I'm gonna save this one for last. I'm sure everyone wants to see it, but just hold on a couple more minutes. Uh, so anyways, did not have prices on any of the jewelry. I picked up this brooch. I said, how much is this brooch? And he was like, oh, that's uh, that's sterling silver right there. That's, that's real silver. He's like, it's Mexican too. And I was like, oh, okay, how much is it, you know? You know how the dealers are, they always you know, shoot you with a really, really high price and you gotta work them down. He was like, oh, that one, since it's real silver, it's gonna be about $30. So he was like, oh, it's Mexican. So what I wanted to show you guys real quick was, hopefully I could uh, see if I could show you guys the mark on it real quick. If it doesn't focus, I apologize. I'm just using an iPhone. So it's signed right there. If you look in the middle right here, you will see three little crowns inside of like a little bubble and the three crowns is a Swedish silver mark so I saw this right away I saw the hallmarks and I knew it was from Sweden and Scandinavian jewelry sells extremely well there's another tip right now tip right there for you guys to keep an eye out for those three little crowns uh, that means it was it's from Sweden so I know Scandinavian jewelry sells extremely well I also happen to collect it thirty dollars not a terrible price but you know we're gonna look around a little bit, right? So I picked up this one. He was like, oh, that one's a little bigger. That one's gonna be about $35. So we have a nice pretty sterling leaf brooch. This one, once again, he must've got it from the same place. It has the same um, Swedish hallmarks right there. Hopefully you guys can see it. If you can't see the hallmarks, I apologize. Not gonna bore you guys too much, but anyway, that one's from Sweden too. So I was like, all right, so you want, what, 65 for the two of these? I was like, you know, 
no. And then I was like, how much, how much with these earrings, right? I was like, how much for the, for the three of these with the earrings? And he was like, how about 75? And I was like, no. Nah. And then talk, talk to him for a minute or two, negotiate him with a little bit. End of the day, I got these earrings and these two brooches, three of them I paid $50 for. $50, you know, sounds like a lot of money, but quality pieces, two Swedish pieces. And then these earrings are very beautiful, very heavy. Uh, they're Native American. And these earrings, I would actually like your guys' help with. I got a lot of smart people subscribed to my channel. I would like to see if anyone would be able to help me out with the hallmarks on here. So this one's a little bit easier to read. Hopefully it can focus. And if anyone knows what that says on the top, right here it says 1989 and then there's an arrow stamp. And at the top it says like Takisha or Teksha. And it says Dela and then something. So if anyone could help me out with what that says, who made these earrings, uh, I would really appreciate it. I'm sure someone watching this is gonna know. There's a lot of really smart people watching these videos. So if someone could help me out with these earrings, greatly appreciated. Um, Cause they'll be worth a lot more and a lot easier to sell if um, you know I could find someone that knows who actually made them. So yeah, so got these three for 50. So I was like, you know, good, good fair deal, uh, but not, not the best deal, but a good deal. Uh, this one, these are probably worth $40 each, and then these might be worth 50 to 75, depending on who made them. So a, a fair deal. And then I saw this sitting there. And for anyone who doesn't know, this is a Native American silver, it's called a squash blossom necklace. And I have been buying and selling jewelry for about four and a half, almost five years even. And this is the first one I've ever had. So they make these with turquoise stones too. And those ones are absolutely beautiful and worth like five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars Some of them even get a thousand dollars. This one, as you can see, it's just plain. So I asked him how much for this. I don't know if, I don't know if he knew what it was or not. He just had it there. And he said $75. So $75 was probably fine. Uh, I inspected it a little. This is not the original clasp on there. You can see how shiny it is. So it didn't have the original clasp. And there are, I think, three or four beads that are smushed. You can see that one has a dent. Um, there was a couple other ones. I went through and there was like four uh, beads on it. So this one is not signed at all. It's not signed or nothing, but it is very, very beautiful. And negotiate him with him for a little bit. And I, we already had these ones in, for 50. And I said, I'll give you 100 for all of it. And, and he took it. So I ended up paying $50 for this and then like $50 for this. So I got all these pieces for $100. And I listed this on eBay last night. I listed it for $320 with free shipping and best offer. And within the first hour, I had one offer for 200, another offer for 200, one for 225, one for 250, and for one, one for 260. I had five offers on it in the first hour. So I, you know, decided to let it sit. I would, you know, sleep on it, see what happens in the morning. And I woke up this morning, looked at my phone, and someone bought it for full price. Someone paid $320 for it. I believe it was. It's going to Arizona, which is cool. I know. Uh, a lot of those warmer states like Arizona and stuff where they, they, they love this stuff out there, all the turquoise stuff. So that was a score. Uh, sad to see it go, but beautiful piece. I'm glad I got to share it with everyone before I ship it out. So if anyone can help me out with those earrings, I would appreciate it. And uh, thank you everyone for watching. Uh, make sure to leave me a comment. Just say hi uh, if you guys got a good find recently or anything you want. So I hope everyone has a good one.